Hey guys, it's Tiff. Uh, sorry if I sound a little groggy. Um, I just had a couple projects I wanted to share with you. The first one are these cards, and my son and I made them. And this is one of the papers from the new Echo Park Splash Collection. And I just picked up this stamp today, and it's so stinking cute. And it says, love you tons on it, and I just thought it was so perfect. Um, for a Father's Day card for my son to give, um, like, his grandparents and great-grandparents. I just thought it was very kid-appropriate. And then we just tied this ribbon around. Um, we haven't written in the inside yet, because, yeah, that's like a challenge with my son. But, um, we got, f um, so far four of these made, and I think they turned out really cute and, um, like I said, kid-appropriate, so... That was a lot of fun. Then um, I also made, let me turn this other one over, sorry. Um, this 8x8 eight eight layout that's going to go in a shadow box. And it's a picture of my grandparents at um, in Washington, D.C. in front of the cherry blossoms. Um, so I used this Prima Sprig that has the cherry blossoms on it really pretty um and some buttons and this one's like a heart shaped button and these are Jenny Bolin borders they come pre-cut and designed and everything so I just curled them and stuck them stuck <laughs> them this is one of my new Allie Edwards stamps and it says remember this moment cherish this story celebrate this life sorry I got it in my then I just rolled this piece and put two more buttons just to give it a little something different. The papers I used, this green one is from Pantsy, Pantsy Pants. Wow. Can you tell it's getting kind of late? <laughs> Anyhow, I just want to get this video out. So, um, Fancy Pants is what I was trying to say from the Everyday Grind collection in the 8x8 pack. Um, and, and then I just cut it down so that you could see this. Cosmo Cricut paper behind it and it's the Wednesday from the um, Friday collection it's kind of an older collection but they still have it available at Ace Moore and I just love this um, grid or graph paper so I use it a lot it's also what I stamped the stamp on and then I just stressed the um, edges of the green paper in like a cream colored um making memories acrylic paint but it was like a a watered down version I also used it to accent some of the cherry blossoms because they were pretty monotone um, and I just want to tone down a little bit I don't want it to be matchy matchy with the cherry blossoms in the picture but just tone it down a little bit and then I use vintage photo on everything um, so I really like how this turned out and then turn this back over bear with me this is a 12 by 12 layout I made using oh there's my foot again I just I can't wait till I get this tripod thing worked out um using the bow bunny ad lib paper and the only piece that I used from the collection is well I actually used two is this one down here and this up here and it just says like um march and then i circle the day of my birthday because that's what this layout's about and then i added the year 2011 i journaled there in my white signet pen and um i added this pink paisley border um it's from the bayberry cottage if you have an ac more that's where i got it i haven't seen it elsewhere so i don't know I'm sure it's probably available elsewhere. I, I just don't know where. Um, then I cut these buttons out with my new button punch. I actually have it right here. I'll show you. It's by Martha Stewart. And I love it. Really cute. And if you look, you can punch your buttons either way. Like this one is reverse of how this one is. You see how the wrist on the, in, the outside. Whereas here it's on the inside. So anyways, you can play around and have a little fun with that. And um, I stamped this border right here with a whole bunch of different Allie Edwards stamps. 
And then this is from um, the Champ Collection of American Crafts. So, I really like how it turned out. Like I said, it's about my birthday this year that the girls at work, um, well, and Guy, threw for me. And it was just really sweet. Um, I can't remember if I shared this with you guys or not, but I had gastric bypass back in December. And so, like, they went out of their way to make it, like, a lunch that I could actually eat. They made sugar-free cake and had salad. And we had a little lasagna, too. But it was just really, really sweet that they really tried to um, take into account, like, my special eating needs. And um, I just, I work with the best crew ever. But anyhow, um, this is the layout. I'm going to quit gabbing on. And I will be back in a few minutes with a few more projects. Take care. Bye. Girl, 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 girl. Best in the world.